I'm out here testing the assegai, among other things. So I finally bit the bullet and decided to give this Max Grip assegai in the new XO Plus, so the 60 threads per inch, not the 120s. And uh, so far, it doesn't feel like a super slug on the climbs. I'm pretty sure it's faster than the butcher up front, according to my climb times at least. On the way down, no discernible difference in speed. If anything, it feels like maybe it bogs down under load a little bit. But the grip's exceptional. So we'll get up and we'll see how she goes down a few different trails. Now when I say the grip's exceptional, it's exceptional on 95% of the tire. The edges are inferior, but everything from the edge inwards is very, very engaging and trustworthy. Um, definitely impressed by that, but still those edges, thank you. When you get it on the edge, it goes on you, so. I don't like that. Thank you. Papa. Yep, no worries. Hey, Papa. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I don't like that, but it's just a matter of adapting to knowing where it lets go, like any tyre. You get used to the DHF, you know, where that lets go. The DHR2, where that lets go. All the other tyres. So this one, it's just a little bit sooner. You can't get as much angle on it, but once you know it, you can control it. Cause as soon as you get it back on anywhere near those center treads, it's just ultimate control. So yeah, that's the guys a, a compromise, but maybe a compromise in the right direction. We'll see. So I'm also testing these new Fox, well they're not new, they're new to me. The Fox Ranger pants. So I've been looking for pants for a long time and I've tried a couple of different pairs on and spoken to a heap of people about what they like and what they don't like about their pants and just trying to get, trying to get a good deal first time, trying to get a good uh, product first time instead of buying it, not liking it and wasting money. So the Fox Ranger came up pretty cheap and uh or are pretty cheap i think they're 100 bucks or 90 bucks and um i'm climbing in them right now and they are killer so knee pads fit in there perfectly they're not going to move this is my second ride on these pants they don't move at all they're uh, always in place if you crash as long as your pants don't come down your knee pads ain't going anywhere so i really rate the the idea of pants um, pockets are deep, which I love, but the material on the pockets is that, that just crappy net material. So all your leg sweat gets into your phone, your keys, whatever you got in your pocket. So fix that for sure. But otherwise I'm into them. Let's get up there. Hey buddy. You're right. I'm not trusting this assegai on the edge yet, at all. Ooh. Still not getting excellent compliance out of this rear shock it's not it hasn't improved the bike over the Marzocchi that's for sure 
But that might just be a, a recency bias comment. So pretty soon I'm gonna put the Marzocchi back on. Yeah, it's definitely not as calm as the Marzocchi out of the back. It just catches bumps still. And I've been around the world with this shock, like not literally, but like so many different setups and, and approaches. Softer spring, firmer spring, more preload, less preload, more compression, less compression, high speed, low speed, rebound, um, bladder pressure, up and down. And this is as good as it gets so far. I think maybe even a softer bladder pressure again would be better. So it's a 10 bar from a recommended 12. It came at about, it might've been six or seven, or maybe eight bar, but not good. Poor quality control. But um, it just catches fast hits, catches big square bumps. So let's drop it back to three clicks of low speed, high speed all the way open. This is, this three clicks is as good as it's been. So I can kind of plant in the back where I want it without, without it upsetting me as I sit into it. Whoa, that was close. I need to reel it in. Yeah, I'm just not into it. I'm not into this shot. It's uh, yeah, it's not cool. Clip the pedal, it's no good. These pedals have had two hard, that wasn't a hard one, but one real hard one and one, and that little semi clip. The hard one the other day was ridiculous. Almost put me OTB, and they're just flawless there. Can hardly tell anything happened. I've got the fork a little stiff today. It's starting off the things, so I set it at the car park. A little lower than what I want, but it's heated up probably seven or eight degrees since then. So it's a little rough and choppy and just darting off of things, but feels okay. That's the guy's great in the middle of the tire, like I said, but not so much on the edges. I'm just chill through to that port. I'm kind of copping it sweet a little bit. And if it if it darts off or something, I won't have the time to respond to pull it back. So let's just keep it chill. I think I'll probably find myself back on the DHF to be honest. We'll see what the DHR2 brings up the front. But, just not sure if I'm into that slide on the edge. It's preferable to the DHF in the middle of the tread, for sure. But not on the edge. I love these pants too, these Fox Ranger pants, I kill her. Giving me ample room to move around under the bike, I feel good 
so I look good, feel good kind of thing, I guess. I feel good in them, there's heaps of flex. Yeah, I like them a lot. So likes and dislikes. Love the pants. I got these Troy Lee speed sleeve elbow guards on. I've had them two rides, they're sliding down. So they're just pretty much forearm guards now. Um, make, for sure you can make an elbow guard that stays up, surely. It can't be rocket science, it's just make that entire upper sleeve above the elbow silicon. They make a little bitchy little strap of silicon at the top that does nothing. Make the whole thing stick to you. Maybe that'll lead to rashy, you know, rashes or rubbing or whatever. Who knows? I'd rather that than wear an elbow guard as a wrist guard and cut my elbow open on a, on a crash, for sure. Um, I like the Asagai, I really, really like the Asagai everywhere except on the edge. See, like that. When you put it purposely right on the edge, it just slides on you. Whereas the DHF, I can sit it on that edge and dance. Um, but the Asagai seems to be better in the middle. So, changes direction really well and there's no, no vague spot, there's no nothing going on there. Um, the Olin's shock I don't like. That's not great. It's good, but I don't rate it. I feel like for me to get anything more out of it, I'd have to go a lighter spring rate again, like or lighter on the bladder pressure and I'm just over it. I've just, I've been back and forth and yeah, not cool. Not into it, so that'll be for sale soon. Um, with a spring, cost me, was that 11.50? So I'll probably sell it for 800 bucks or something. But we'll see. <laughs>